Uh, incoming configuration is responsible from retrieving data from a system. This can be a REST API using HTTP or a PDO client, which communicates directly with a database. Or we can, for example, just listen to a file system. This is useful for systems that uh, are able to create CSV files, but are not able to uh, offer an API. Uh, as you can see, we see here we see an overview of the incoming configurations for this environment. And by clicking on the plus, we will be able to create our extra, our own incoming configuration. For example, we can create an co incoming configuration for a um, for a price update, price update from ERP. We can add a description for anyone uh, who has to work later with this and needs to know what, what this does. Uh, yeah, we can mark this as disabled. So for example, when uh, the system is not live yet and we do not want this uh, to actually run, we can say it's disabled. Or, and after that, we have to uh, select a subscriber. So uh, we have different subscribers available within the uh, management. Uh, by default, you get the Falcu subscriber, uh, HTTP subscriber from the storage or from webhooks. And uh, yeah, obviously, we also offer connector packages, such as a Magento connector or a Shopify connector. And those add a lot of subscribers, like a Magento to order subscriber or a Magento to price subscriber or, or anything supported within the certain uh, connector. So for this example, we will configure HTTP bin subscriber. So as you can see, it will give me some uh, options regarding a default REST client. So I can say I want to get the prices endpoints, which is a GET request. We can also pass parameters to the URL. Then we are able to um, configure a HTTP client. So basically, this can be the default client or any pre-configured client, such as HTTP bin.org. We can uh, select this. And then also we can here select a transformer, which is responsible for applying business rules to your data. Um, transformers can be applied at three stages. One of them is at the incoming part. So when you want to reuse this incoming configuration within another route, but some of the data transformations always have to happen for this uh, specific system, then we will configure the transformer on the incoming configuration. And here we can select an entity type that, um, yeah, that for this incoming configuration. So, for example, if we are doing a Magento 2 price update and we have the Magento 2 connector installed, this would show also a Magento 2 price entity. We can click on it and the management will automatically know the type of product and the um, um, transformations that should be done. So this allows you to uh, create an entity once uh, with the appropriate configuration and then run it automatically when needed. Okay, so when we save this, we can see a new uh, configuration was added, price updates from ERP. And yeah, we are also able to filter uh, on the, so we can easily find it and stuff. And you are able to change